Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, it is the middle of August, and uh, we are in probably the hottest time of the year in Japan. It's uh, getting to uh, 38, 39, and some places 40 degrees Celsius, um, which is, you know, getting around and over just over uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's hot. Um, and we need some nice beer to cool us off in the evenings. And today we are going to begin looking at three beers from a brewery that is not often seen, especially out of the Kansai region. Uh, and in fact, I'm, I'm guessing that maybe beer fans in uh, uh, Northern Japan or, or uh, Eastern Japan, Tokyo, uh, and South uh, Western Japan, Fukuoka, that area, may not be familiar with this brewery. <clears throat> it is a Kansai area brewery. It's called Awaji Brewery. And Awaji is located on the island of Awajishima. Um, and this island is just across from Akashi, or, or uh, people may know Kobe, Kobe a little bit better. Uh, there's a very large bridge called the Akashi Daikyo, which goes across from uh, Akashi City to this island. And from this island, you can continue across and go to the uh, one of the four main islands of Japan, which is called Shikoku. Um, and so this is right across from Akashi, and uh, it's on the northern tip of the island, uh, actually. The island is shaped kind of like a teardrop, and this would be towards the near, the uh, narrow end of the island. And Awaji's uh, been going since 1998, so you know quite a while. Uh, they have five main beers that they make, and the, those are a pills, a, a red ale, a Weizen, an alt, and uh, what they call a Awaji rice beer. And there's one more called Shima lemon, island lemon beer, which they make as well. We're going to be looking at three three beers. We're going to look at the Pilsner, the Beitzen, and the Alt, uh, which are the ones I happen to find. And uh, it seems like they're kind of stuck in the old mode of Japanese craft beer, uh, which in the uh, mid-90s, uh, late 90s, uh, every brewery that was brewing had to make three of these German styles, the Pils, the Weizen, and the Alt. And because so many people think that uh, it, beer equals Germany. And so they, uh, and plus Germans uh, were very influential in the development of the Japanese beer industry when it began in the 1880s, 1890s uh, in Japan. So a lot of German influence. And Awaji is still in that mode where they're making those kinds of beers. Uh, not many craft breweries do that anymore. Okay, so we're gonna look at three beers and let's get started, shall we? And now we'll look at a second beer from uh, Awaji, but before we do, uh, I'd like to uh, uh, introduce my plant behind me. Uh, a friend just recently commented and said, where is your ficus? Because it wasn't in one of the most recent videos. Uh, we had him over in the other corner after putting him outside for a while. Um, and he's not a ficus. He's what's called an ever fresh. Um, he has a series of uh, very fine, finely defined leaves. And they close up at night when he's sleeping, I guess. Uh, or it looks like he's sleeping in any case. It's called Neverfresh, and I've named him Sylvester for the Latin Sylvestris, a wooded area or woods. And, uh, uh, and in Japan, it's very common to shorten names and give people nicknames with chan or kun on the end of it uh, for uh, girls or boys. And we call him Sil Chan now, him, but chan is actually for the girl. Um, uh, but in any case, that is my plant behind me. It is what's called an Everfresh, and he's grown quite a bit since we got him. All right, and now back to the beer. Uh, the second beer we're going to look at today is what's called a Waji Weizen. And this is a Hefeweizen. It is a, 
uh, excuse me here, it is uh, uh, Weiss beer or Hefeweizen uh, classification on rate beer. It's a five percenter, and on rate beer, this one has three ratings, an average score of 3.03, not terribly high. On untapped, it comes in at 108 ratings uh, and an average score of 3.1, so also not terribly high. Um, and untapped listed at 4.5%, and here they do list it at 4.5%, okay. And they list uh, their <coughs> wheat malt, uh, which is German, from German, and some barley malt, and some hops. Um, and so let's give this a go, shall we? Uh, the last beer we had from Awaji was not terribly well made, and I'm wondering about this one. <clears throat> Cheers. Here's to you, Silchan. Thank you. Okay, so it uh, it's a half a bites in, and it is lightly cloudy, sort of copper orange color, and with about a finger of, of white foam on the top. Uh, not as not as heavy as I would expect uh, uh, half a bites in to be. Uh, or as cloudy as I would expect to have a bison to be. Here, let's put it in the light and see what we get here. Okay. Okay, and it does have light streams of carbonation coming up from the bottom. Kind of light and curving around. But it doesn't have the thick cloudiness uh, that I expect from a good half a bison, uh, nor the heavy duty head that I would want to see. Okay, <clears throat> the nose is fruity, but something's off here, I believe. It is fruity, but not, I'm not getting the typical kind of banana note, wheaty note from this at all. It tastes like some sort of a fermented fruit. Flavor similar. It's possible that this is infected um, or just simply not well made. Uh, it tastes nothing like a Weizen, really. Just the very slightest bit of uh, weediness at the beginning, and then it goes to this kind of rough, uh, unpleasant fruitiness that seems like it is kind of like like picking up a, a bowl of fermented fruit that's been sitting there for several days. And, uh, you know, you know, in any case, uh, I don't recommend this beer. It is called a Waji uh, beer, Weizen, Hefeweizen Weiss beer at 5%. Uh, you may see this somewhere, and if you do, I recommend you do not buy it. And, uh, uh, but, however, you have a different opinion about OIG beers, you tell me, okay? Let me know what you think and uh, leave me a message. And please do subscribe to the channel. Next up, we'll be looking at one more beer from the same brewery called Awaji, and uh, we'll see how that one is. So far, the first two uh, we've looked at have not been terribly pleasant. But in any case, that is the way it goes, uh, as the current expression is. Uh, in politics, it is what it is. Okay, I hope you are what you are, and I hope you are doing well. Take care.